is uh, Alex Rene. Um, the first thing that I would say right off the bat is that your lighting is a little bit off, um, and and that's probably part of what you're you're seeing here. Um, so if I if I've got my lighting here, uh, which that's not the brush I want. That is okay. So if I've got my lighting like so, right? Um, you know, you want to keep that lighting consistent, and it's kind of from the foreground here pointed towards. So what you want to do is there's a couple things that I would do first of all. Um, hopefully, okay. So we are in color. Okay. So first of all, um, think about how the horn, uh, how the face is. All right. So you've got your your mid middle of the face here. Which is it's there's some parts in here that I would adjust, um, but then you want to bring in this here, like so, and I'm kind of building up here. But so this is your first portion, and then what I would say is you need to you need to flatten out some of the face here um, because it's it's almost like lopsided. You've got way more face over here than you would have in in this area here. Um, even if you widen that out, it's just still it's kind of off. Um, so I would definitely work on fixing that a little bit. Um, if you put in the eyes here and then sync the midtones values in here, or I'm not the sorry not the midtones, but the the brow ridge, the cheek ridge. And then you're you're building up this. Um, the way it's facing, you want to push out the nose a little bit more. Um, the problem is you've got the nose kind of leaning one direction when it should be uh, out the other direction. Um, and then the lips are not really centered. Um, as you can see, the lips here are not. They should be moved over a little bit. Um, or at least the teeth it should. So that's something that I would work on as well. Um, so if I and then on top of that, as long as I'm doing this, if you're putting horns in, you're you're thinking where the horns are, and then you're bringing the horns out as a form. You know, and that's that's the key point that you want to really really work with is bringing those horns out as a form. Same thing over here. You have to realize that these would come out maybe maybe like this all right and that's that's another issue and then you stack your hair on top of there and your hair up top you know it, you want to have you know enough hair um, so that the the hair shows the form of the head and so as you can see over here it's way too much um, so if I'm gonna do a real quick uh, paint over on this what I would say right off the bat is the first thing I would do is grab let's let's actually let's pixelize this a little bit. Um, just grabbing your your lips here and moving them over like so, and then probably transforming them just a little bit more like this. That's the first thing that I would do, um, and then we can just kind of touch that up, paint that in, and then the next thing that I would do is the nose needs to be I'd probably play with the nose a little bit more and let's go in here and I would move Definitely make the nostrils a little bit smaller, daintier. Probably bringing that in a little bit more. Um, and then, of course, you know, fixing it up a little bit. And 
but that's that's the the key thing that I would say right off the bat is you want to get that that sense of adjustment in there um, like so and I think that helps out a little bit and then again kind of curve this over and by pushing that in and then that's going to again lead me to this information here and then this is going to start with the base form here so this is this is probably more like something like that down a word a little bit more but by putting this in here this is my horn coming out and then you can of course highlight the areas and it would probably not be much of a highlight but it would probably be something like that um, and it would be more or less subtle um, and then um, get more depth in the eyebrows and that will break up the forehead a little or the that flatness a little bit more um, and then this one here, I would probably say if you're going to wrap it around the head like that, the, the key point is, let's just go and grab this actually. Let's transform that. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Uh, let's warp it a little bit. Something like something like that. And then go back again and fix Alright, so fixing that like this, but then don't like, don't leave it as a layered effect. Um, when you put it in there, when you put it in there, grab some of this, this strands of hair and, you know, pop it above it. And that's going to give it its own highlights. And then you can add some shadows in there. And do you see how that, it's not perfect now, but it still gives you that sense of, I've, it's it's got that sense of thing uh, information in there and then the other thing too is if this has got depth in there so this is the the way this is you know from a visual standpoint this is gonna pop out a lot more and it's actually going to like pop out here so these would like almost come out a little bit and that's going to kind of sell that form as well. Let's grab in, you know, something like that and darken it in, in the centers. But that gives you kind of that more, more in-depth version, you know, something like that. And then again, um, you know, take some of that darks and keep wrapping it around. Don't just stop at where, where you did and you know give it give it more form and that's going to sell sell it as well um, and then of course you're going to need to spend more time on the hands and things like that but what i would tell you to do for that is like you've got this sense of darkness lightness here i would almost do something like something along the lines of like this with a multiply and do you see how that starts popping in um, a little bit more of that information? And then, of course, you can go in and mask out and start really selling the, the, the basic form of, of the light and darkness on there. Uh, and that's... You know how you really want to you you really want to sell those features. A little bit, you know, it's just pushing out the the brights and, and darks 
um, and then maybe even you know pull out some of the highlights and pull out some of the eye highlights um, so things like that are going to really that's a little bit too much in that eye but things like that are really going to kind of sell your your piece and of course I would lighten it a little bit but again um, I think the big thing is that the the position is a little bit wrong and I think also the you know put some hair over it give it give it a sense of form that's not just part of your system as a whole you know you want to add in you want to add in you know the additional hair and, and things like that all right I hope that helps